Sydney, Australia. Case 190. Did you ever read about a frog who dreamed of being a king? And then became one. Well, except for the names and a few other changes, if you talk about me, the story is the same one. But I got an emptiness deep inside that I've tried, but it won't let me go. And I'm not a man who likes to swear, but I never cared for the sound of being alone. I am, I said, to no one there, and no one heard at all. Robbie out here is next to the body if needs be, and uh, Robbie will step in to help too. Yep, whatever's necessary. Mr. Waters, my name's Yvonne, with a Y. I'm Robert's wife. It's such a relief that you've arrived because we've all been so worried. Now, I'm here to be of assistance to you. I'm on supplies. Do you find it hard to get polite help in America? Polite? Oh, well, people with lovely manners. Don't look at Robbie, he hasn't got any. <laughs> 